Lovers of sophisticated music may have been a bit miffed this past week, miffed by the arrival in the United States of a raucous rock group from Great Britain called the Sex Pistols. Our next story is designed to soothe the injured parties. It's a story about some people who have gone back to Bach, or Bach to Bach with Bach. Anyway, here's what it's all about. Sam Ford reports. <laughs> The place was a decaying old theater on New York's Upper West Side. The program was 12 consecutive hours of music by Johann Sebastian Bach, free of charge. And the orchestra, some members of the American Symphony, and the rest volunteers. Anybody who knew how to play and had brought something to play on. Some of the musicians were players from other orchestras, but most were students, teachers, housewives, people who played their instruments well, but had never had a chance to play with professionals. For many, it was a dream come true. My name is Susan Kinoy, and I'm a rank amateur. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a professional. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's you play good. like one? No, I don't play like one, and the, the best thing in the world is that I'm sitting next to a professional, so she carries me along. Well, could you keep up when the orchestra was playing? Sort of. <laughs> Some parts of it. Every few hours, one group would get up and let another group play with the pros, and on those occasions, when the amateurs took over, no one seemed too upset. You made it! <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I think participation is the most important thing in music anyways. If you participate, you love it. The idea for this Bach jam session came from the American Symphony Special Programs conductor, Alan Miller. A good idea like this comes out of uh, places you don't realize. I once uh, had some musicians and we played and some other people wanted to play along with us and it just grew like that. Please, friends, can we have some quiet while we try to organize this titanic event? <laughs> For the grand finale of this marathon box session, a completely volunteer chorus joined the orchestra and professional soloists, and without rehearsal, they performed Bach's Mass in B minor. While they didn't always sound like the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, the audience still loved it. Indeed, the entire 12 hours seemed to be a sort of musical love-in between professionals, amateurs, and some 6,000 people who listened at one time or another. And even though all the notes weren't on key and the timing was not always on beat, Johann Sebastian Bach might have been proud. Sam Ford, CBS News, New York. With apologies to the Sex Pistols, that's the news. I'm Morton Dean, CBS News, New York. Have a good evening and a good week.